Emma, we hardly knew ye. No sooner had she got that little mini push we all thought she was so deserving of than she finds herself released by WWE. Bit of a head scratcher that one, and naturally the cause of much speculation. You do not get a pay-per-view match with Asuka, especially one where you come out looking relatively strong as well, and then find yourself out of the door next week for nothing. We'd heard talk of backstage bust-ups, of impending legal wranglings, all the greatest hits of unfounded wrestling speculation. Thankfully, Sports Illustrated's Justin Barrasso has shed some much-needed light on the subject, and despite her mini-push, it looks like this is something that has been on the cards for a long time. The proverbial writing has been on the proverbial wall, as he put it. As per the writer, it seems that Emma had considerable heat within the company, in particular with the writing staff who'd felt very aggrieved that she'd taken to Twitter to voice her discontent at how she'd been booked. The whole give Emma a chance thing might have seemed fair enough to all of us, but backstage it put a lot of noses out of joints. There's also, of course, the issue of Emmalina and the sudden cancellation of that gimmick after literally months of promotion. The reports go on to say that they felt Emma wasn't even slightly asked about the character, that she hadn't committed to the role enough for it to be worthwhile doing. And that was back in February, remember, so this has obviously been going on for ages. WWE apparently see this as addition by subtraction in the locker room, and while there's certainly going to be no shortage of performers willing to take a spot on the card, it's undeniable that she's been one of the most undervalued and underutilized performers in the entire division. WWE want you to focus on the four horsewomen as the catalyst for all this change, but Emma, along with Paige and Summer Rae, arguably deserve as much of the credit as anyone. Emma simply tweeted a broken heart emoji upon the news of her release, but she now finds herself 28 years old with a huge groundswell of support, a great reputation as a worker, and no shortage of independent promotions queuing up to booger. She'll be fine, trust me. So that's it for Emma and WWE, and that's it for me on this video. Please let us know what you think by leaving a comment below. Where would you like to see her go? What should she do? The possibilities for you are indeed endless, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I've been Adamina from whatculture.com, and ta-ta for now. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe below, and if you're looking for more content like this, then try a few things that are floating about around my ears. It might be fun. I can't promise it though, but it might be.